Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to unbox the Triple D um, Holiday Diva box. So this month's box is different because they made it pre-orders. So it is really nice for everyone to have the chance to get this box. So yeah, let me just open this real quick. But this box retailed for $75 and it came with this um, bubble mailer because it doesn't fit in the regular pink diva box so the first item that you're going to get is these a medium stiletto jelly dips so this is a 500 pieces full coverage uh, jelly dips so this is how it looks like and the shape is a stiletto so that you can just cut it into a coffin or make it almond so i'm going to dive more about this one later but let me just show you the other item in the box so you'll also be getting this milky white acry gel which is i am so excited about so it also includes these like uh, stickers there are a lot of um, snowflakes there and those sweater nail design so for the other bubble wrap it includes these four dip powders so same as the other um diva boxes past diva boxes it has four dip powders and this one is quick stick it is the gel that you'll be using to apply the jelly dips so here are the numbers we are now in the 37 38 and 39 and the other one is a diva dust so here are the swatches of the colors So going back to the gel dips again, I am going to use this so I remove my um, old builder gel and cut down my length and I really wanted to test this out but let me just pick up my sizes. So when choosing the right size, make sure that it will fit your whole nail from sidewalls to sidewalls. And you can also file the sides to make the fit even better. So what I'm showing you right now are the numbers. There are like half numbers as well, which is really nice. So don't forget to rough also the inside part of the jelly tips so that it will help with the adhesion. So now I am going to prep my nails. I already cleaned and push back my cuticles but I am going to dehydrate it further using some alcohol. My natural nails are also lightly buff to make it a little bit rough and then I am now going to apply the liquids. So first I'll be using the Ultra Bond so this is going to help the gel products adhere more. So I'm just going to apply this on my nail and this Ultra Bond leaves a um, tacky layer even though it's already dry so that is completely normal and after waiting for about a minute i am going to apply the gel base so make sure to apply the gel base and then cure it in the lamp for about 60 seconds so after I cured my gel base, I'm now going to apply the um, quick fix. Then I am also going to use this LED flashlight to flash cure my um, jelly dips. So I'm just going to hang it on my um, camera so that it's easier and I don't have to hold it. Then I am going to apply the quick stick on my jelly dips. And after that, I just turned on the flashlight and then I am going to like press it on my nail. So make sure that there are no air bubbles before you cure it in the lamp. So just in case that there are um, air bubbles inside, you just need to like press it more or lift it and then try to press it down again. So I also just wipe those um, excess um, quick stick on my skin and then I am now curing. So I am just a uh, flash curing it on this lamp and then I fully cure it in the lamp for about 60 seconds and after that this is how it looks like I did not see that air bubble in the side because I was um, holding my nail sideways 
so I do have an air bubble in there but nonetheless it will perform still nicely but as you can see these jelly tips is really nice and the apex is not too high um, unlike the other products or the other jelly tips that I've tried before it is really super curvy so I really don't prefer those uh, jelly tips with high apex because that requires more um, gel product to fill in those space because i really have a flat nail bed yeah so far i am really loving these jelly tips so i am just going to do the same process that i did with my thumb to all of my nails and let you guys watch and i will be back So for this nail, as you can see, the tip part is lacking the gel product. So I am going to add more quick stick in the underside of my nail. So I actually saw this one from Instagram or TikTok. It's like a hack. So you just put more gel product in there and then wait for it to like uh, drip down or to flow down and fill in that gap so i'm just um pushing it down and wait for it to um fill the gap so as you can see it is a lot better now i managed to fill in that gap and make sure to even out the gel product and then cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds so this is after i applied all the gel tips so far it is really nice and i really love the shape as well so you can see from my side profile the apex is just a uh, right and it is not too high so yeah I'm just going to trim the length I will also be doing a minimal filing on the tips And for the excess glue on this part, I'm just going to use the e-file and then this bit to clean that up. And then I did not file the surface of my nail. Instead, I'll be applying a top coat because I'll be using a peel base. I find it easier for me to pop off my manicure with a gel top on. But if you're not going to use a peel base and just uh, want to dip as normal, just make sure to buff first the shine part of the gel tips. After that, you can already d do your um, dipping process. So for me, I apply one full coat of UNT peel base on all of my nails. So now I am going to apply these two colors. I chose these two colors, Diva Dip um, 38 and 39. So I'm going to apply Diva Dip 38 first on my 
um, thumb, middle finger, and pinky finger. So I'm going to do uh, two layers. So this is after I apply that color. So now I am going to apply the flakes. This is Diva Dip 39 and I really am in love with these flakes. It is really so nice and perfect for the winter. So I'm going to apply this on my pointer and ring finger. So for this color, since it's a bit sheer, I am going to apply three layers. Alright, so far this is how it looks like. So for my middle finger, I want to do some ombre of the flake. So I'm just going to apply some dip base on the half part of my nails and then using an eyeshadow brush, I am going to sprinkle on some of those flakes. then after that i am now going to clear and encapsulate all these colors so this is after i did that off cam and now i am going to activate So now I am just going to file and shape my nails off cam and this is after I did that. I just did a minimal filing and shaping because the jelly tips are already um, nicely shaped. So now I am going to add these uh, stickers and I'll be putting some snowflakes. Wow, this sticker is really nice. It is really laying nice and flat on your nail. And I am just going to apply some more on my thumb. And I am really loving this sticker. It is not bulky as well. And it has a transparent background. So that won't show later when we apply our gel top coat. So to make my nails really shine, I am going to apply this delicate two-in-one gel base and top coat so make sure to uh, really cut the sides and the tip so that your nails will last longer and yeah I apply this and cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds So this is after I cured everything. So now I am going to apply cuticle oil. This one is from Scales of a Mermaid. So this scent is called Santa Baby and it is perfect for the winter. So yeah, if you want to purchase from Scales of a Mermaid, you can use my code JESSE10 for 10% off. And here is the finished look. I am finally done and I am really in love with these colors and the jelly tips is really amazing. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment box below. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. So thank you so much again for watching and I will see you again on my next videos. Bye!